What's up everyone, Carnage here, and let's check out Curse to Golf on Xbox. This is going to be a first look of the game. It's published by Thunderful and developed by Chu Hai Labs. Now, I first saw this game on the ID at Xbox Twitch gaming showcase that they had a couple months ago, and it really caught my eye. In fact, it was the most anticipated game of all of them that I saw in that uh, showcase. So we're finally here, the game is out now, and uh, we're going to check out Curse to Golf. Uh, also, thanks to the publisher PR company developer for the review copy of the game. That way I could showcase this for you guys. So we're going to check out the game from the very beginning, but before we do, we're just going to take a quick look at the settings here. We have different languages that we can choose from. A couple of them are supported there. Let's take a look. All right. Uh, we also can change vibration. We can have our audio settings, which I actually set up already ahead of time. I think that should be good. And then, of course, we also have some... Uh, yeah, it looks like audio and gameplay settings. Not too much in the way of options, but that's all good for now. Um, credits, if you want to see who made the game, like I said, Thunderful and Chu High Labs. Hopefully I said their name correctly. Uh, but yeah, guys, here we go. We're going to start out with a new round. And uh, it's an interesting mix of golf, platforming, roguelite elements. Um, a golf-like, they call it. So it's really interesting to see what they're doing here. Uh, but it looks like a lot of fun, and we're going to check it out here. The Eternal. Okay, so there's no voice acting, but that's fine. It doesn't always need that. I'm sure it has a uh, decent story as well here, as we've seen. But uh, no voice acting this time around. It's doing like the Banjo-Kazooie style, where you hear like... Ooh, 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 ooh. But yeah, we're here for the gameplay, right? Anyway, I mean, I'm sure the story elements are a nice touch, but um, I'm ready for some crazy golf action in Purgatory, which uh, starts out simple enough. You think you're uh, just in a normal golf game, but uh, from what I've seen in the videos of this game, uh, very excited for what's to come. And I, I won't spoil anything from what I've seen yet, at least. Uh, I haven't played uh, played this yet, though. This is the first time. For a first shot, our golfer will need their driver. Okay, shot one. Now, actually, I did only start the tutorial here, but I didn't actually uh, get to the next part of the tutorial, which is where the game gets really interesting. And uh, that's kind of like what you'll see without... Uh, me mentioning it. So uh, we're coming up to that very soon. We're going to need a lot of them. Golfer is lining up the first shot. Alright, so we can move with our... Uh, we start with A to shoot and then it has a power bar and we got to time it. There we go. That was a pretty good power. And it kind of goes up and down on its own and you got to press A when you're ready to shoot it. So the basics are pretty straightforward and easy, uh, but they will definitely build upon that later. And like I said, all I've done so far is the beginning part of the tutorial here. Uh, it will get crazy soon, and I haven't seen from what's up uh, what's up with that part yet. Uh, from that point on, I mean. so we will soon see. The golfer has arrived for the second shot. Okay. Need to get it over that pit. Pull out their iron. All right. Mid-range distances get great for hitting a close fairway like this one. Also helps propel the ball through those tight, narrow spaces. Okay. Let's find out if they're excellent. I don't know how excellent I am yet at this game. We shall see. Alright, so... Ooh, that was a powerful maximum hit. That looks good for now. Oh, that was almost... Uh, might be alright, actually. I could probably reach that. Uh, they're advancing closer to the group. Okay, it's up that way. I don't know if I can make it all the way from there. And it started raining. Golfer is drenched, but they don't care. <laughs> Need a 
wedge for the shot. Huh. Alright. The wedge is good for shorter shots. Gives you a bit of height in a tight spot. Makes sense. Perfect shot. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? I think that'll be good. Perfect. Okay, now we're almost at the green, on the green here. <laughs> it's pouring now. I wonder if the uh, water from the rain uh, actually affects the gameplay at all. Or if it's just uh, visual. Is he the GOAT? Greatest golfer of all time? Don't know about that. All they have to do is land the ball within the hole. Alright. Shot four, final. They're lining up now. Here it comes. Uh, see, I don't want too much power, probably, but... Well... Maybe that'll roll in? I'm not sure. Uh-oh. <laughs> and he died. And that's the end of the game, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. No, just kidding. <laughs> that That is the beginning of... Yeah. You know what's happening now. You're going down to... He's going down to Golf Purgatory. And this is where the game really begins. So that part, that, that is the point where I played to so far, and I figured, obviously, as I cover this, we're going to check it out together. So I have not seen anything from this point on. I mean, obviously, I've seen a couple videos of the game, but uh, I didn't want to spoil too much, and I definitely did not even play uh, this part yet. But uh, we are going down to hell, I guess. We're in golf purgatory, and uh, we're going to see how stuff gets down here. Eternity. Nice. That must have hurt. You're already we won. You quite the fall. All right. So yeah, that starts off with just basic golfing, but now we're gonna see the craziness that ensues down in golf purgatory. Because, like I said, this game is uh, full of crazy chaos action and uh, roguelite elements as well. It's a it's a golf like, as they say, which I love that term. Hilariously awesome. And uh, yeah, Golf Purgatory, here we are. Trapped between the living and the dead. You, my friend, are cursed, just like me. We are cursed to golf. You may call me Scotsman. This is my shop, Eternity. Ain't it a beaut built by myself? Oh no, don't get upset, we won. There's hope you can ascend back to life. Make sure you make your way through the golf course 18 holes in all. Sounds easy, you say? Oh, we won. Believe me, I've tried many times and failed. Don't, don't be sad on my account, though. I resigned myself to fate a long time ago. But you, if you're good as they, as good as they say, you might actually ascend. It'll be nice to some, see someone else golf for a change. Uh, by the way, I wanted to mention that you could actually skip cutscenes if you want to in this game, which I do appreciate. You can press right trigger if you want and hold that in, and it will skip uh, fast forward the cutscenes. But we're going to play uh, since it's the first time I'm seeing this. And, uh, and you guys as well, probably, if uh, you haven't seen the game yet, then I'm going to show the dialogue as well. Time for your lesson, we won. To help you get ready, let's finish the practice hole I built. Alright. <clears throat> Being trapped in golf purgatory, I get bored. Now observe, we won. What's this master gonna show us now? Okay, we got TNT, I see here. We got some explosives. Stuff's gonna get pyromaniac level. Down here, the holes are like dungeons. They bend and wind in all directions. Yeah, this gets a lot more interesting now. Because like I said earlier, it looks like basic golf or whatever, but now we are playing with all these crazy other elements and uh, roguelite, action, platforming, uh, stuff like that basically is all mixed together. 
or a crazy experience. If you don't reach the flag within the park count, you will be fail. You you will fail and be cursed forever. There are ways to survive and ascend. Uh, if you oh, okay. increase your chances of surviving, allow me to show you how. Huh? Bring your driver and follow me. Good. Land your tee shot here and let's continue. Okay, so starting our shot like before. So far it's similar, but they are going to add other elements in, I'm sure, very soon. That was actually a pretty good shot. I am surprised at myself. Alright. Not a bad shot, we won. You'll notice that your par count went down your last shot. Indeed. Many holes in Golf Purgatory will be tough to finish in five shots. Yeah, we're gonna need something else, like some power-ups, right? We have this, these little beauties here, take a look. Shot idols are blessings from Golf God. You'll find these statues throughout each hole. Smash a shot idol with your ball and you'll gain shots on your par count. Now a gold shot idol is special, it'll give you four more shots, ooh, nice. Sweet. You can find two types of shot idols in each hole to help you from hitting that dreaded zero. So I'm guessing if you hit zero, you probably just lose uh, everything and have to start over since it is a roguelike or a roguelite style game. Alright, nudge camera. We can use uh, to see the map a little bit better here. Okay. Let's see, how are we going to hit this here? Gonna make sure I hit it as on the way down. There we go. Perfect. Four more shots. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got now. It's a tight squeeze down here at times. Maybe that's why I've never made it out. However, you need a few more tips if you wish to ascend. Show me all your tricks. I think you're ready, know it all. Tell me, what's the birdie eye camera? <laughs> Just as I thought, not a clue. Aha! It allows you to view your surrounding area. Okay, so now I can just look around everywhere. Scope out hazards like bunker shot idols and even flags. Makes sense. Try. Plan your shot using the birdie camera, bird, birdie eye camera, to check that fan down there. Oh, uh, activate birdie eye. Okay, we can use the B button and then view that. Now remember your important tools on the course, your clubs. Right, we have our different ones. We switch between them at any time. Uh, the wedge. If you land in a bunker, you must use your wedge to get back on track, just like real golf. Uh, try switching between clubs and hit your next shot into the fan. Okay. It will be fine. The fan will catch your ball and land it safely on the fairway. Go on now. Change clubs to our... Which one are we changing to? They want me to use the iron. See if that works. That was pretty good. Oh, okay. So the fan actually didn't push it further as I thought it would. It would kind of, it just caught it. It's kind of weird, but okay. Um, next we must talk about hazards of golf purgatory. Like the tons of fucking TNT I see in the way right now. You'll recognize some hazards, bunkers, water, and the rough. Golf purgatory even has stranger hazards. For example, TNT boxes block vital shortcuts to a hole. Now we won. I've taught you much. There's only one more thing you should know about. Aha! Ace cards. These beauties will strengthen your skills and help you deal with deadly hazards. Yes, yeah, so these look like power-ups. Mulligan, rewind your previous shot, scatter shot, detonate the ball, and three mid-air flight. Choose a ball to continue to play with, and par shot or plus one shot, add one shot to your current par count. Uh, ace cards will come in many different varieties. 
Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot more as well later on. Uh, exciting, right? Let's check them out. Eager, I see. Yeah, definitely a lot of other ones as well. They're showing some others here already. Uh, practice shot and explode. Ball is destroyed at the end of a shot. Uh, practice shot allows you to rehearse the shot without blowing your par count. And kaboom lets you blow stuff up. Makes sense. Let's try ace cards on for size. Follow, follow me to the fairway below. Ready, let's do it. I've set your par count to four. That's not fair. Welcome to Golf pur Purgatory, Lee One. There's a silver shot idol that will give you two plus shots. Use your ace cards to help. Experiment. So I could go left or right. Let's see, if we go to the left first, we get that extra two shots. So let me try going that way. Let's see if that bounces off and then goes back to the other side, hopefully. Oh no, it went down. I actually wanted to go to the right first, but can't really worry about it now. We got extra shots, so that's fine. Uh, let's see, we want to go there, we want to open our deck. Uh, we can use a practice shot or a boom shot. Uh, I'm not going to use that yet. I think I'm going to save that. Okay, so you can cancel out your shot with B if you want. Uh, we're going to aim left and then get a nice long shot here, bounce off the wall. That was not what I wanted to do, but alright. That was not great at all. <laughs> Uh, definitely don't want to use the iron then. So let's try using one of our practice shots here. And that way we can switch our club to a different one. And we'll do a little... No. I don't know if that's going to do it. Hmm. Uh, maybe the wedge one would be better? Yeah, I'm gonna try a wedge one with a little bit of a less, uh, there we go, that's what I needed to do. Oh, we got a, uh, spider as well. Okay. Let's see what we can do now. Hmm. Now I'm gonna try switching to iron, but not as big of a shot here. There we go, there we go. Sweet. And now we gotta get that one up there. Hmm. Okay, let's use our camera to see. The hole is down below there. I don't know what that is here. Well, we'll see what happens because we only have two shots now. Uh, I wanted to go the other way with the uh, explosion, explosive thing, but we went left to get the extra shots, so uh, we'll, we'll figure it out here. Hopefully. Uh, it's not going to be high enough. Luckily, we can change it and wedge. That should be good. I don't want to get it in, the, uh, in there, though. And it's in there anyway. That's fine. Well, so much for that. Um, doesn't look like we're making it. <laughs> we might have to retry it, because we have zero now. Pretty sure. <laughs> Wait, what? I did it? Apparently, uh, it was good enough that I got to that spot. Okay, I'll take it. I thought I had to get right to the uh, flag right away. Okay, that drops it down straight down. Uh, it's your turn. I'll give you another ace card. Alright. They give us another bunch of shots without getting another idol. Uh, water hazards are outside your club's range. It would be best to land your ball in the middle of the fairway here. Use a time stop card when the ball is mid-flight to land it properly. Ooh, interesting. Alright, um, time stop. 
we're gonna use that. And hopefully it's in play now, so. Let's see how to do this. Okay, the B button to activate it. I could have let it go a little further. I didn't know what uh, button it would be, but that's fine. Okay, you're almost at the flag. Getting your ball in the hole means you survive the hole. Survive all 18 holes in Golf Purgatory. Ooh. Send damn. So you got to actually win all 18 holes, huh? like a real golf game. Okay, what's this dude doing now? Put all your skills to the test and survive the hole unassisted. Use your clubs. Smash shot idols. Ax assess shots with your birdie eye camera. And use your ace cards. See you at the bottom. So wait, they're putting me back up here? I thought I was making progress down below, but I guess they want me to start out on my own here. So uh, iron should be the furthest, I think. I'm going to try that go as far as I can. That's a pretty good one. Okay, I'll take it. Fairway. Um, let's see, what ace cards do we have? Add two shots to your current par count. We may as well do that. There's no reason not to. Um, we have another another one of that. Uh, may as well again. Have eight now. Uh, practice shot. Take a practice shot. Ball is destroyed at the end of your shot. I don't think we need that one yet. I'm gonna try uh, using the the driver, but not as not as strong of a shot. A little bit less like that. There we go. Okay. Let's try to hit that golden idol. Perfect. There we go. Four more shots. Look at that beauty right there. Ooh. Okay, we're going to need the wedge, though. We're going to have to use the wedge to get up there. That's fine. Can I get it over there, though? Nope. <laughs> it's all good. And we're just gonna have to hit it from here with the wedge again. But let's see what we can do with that. Ooh, that's a nice long shot. I didn't expect it to get down there, but okay. Hell yeah. Okay, so now we have our explosives over there. Although there is also the statue on the left, so I'm not sure which one I want to do yet. Uh, the iron or the driver. I think I'm going to do the iron one this time. Make sure I'm facing the right way. Uh, there. <clears throat> Actually, let's look at our surroundings. If we go that way, we can blow that up there. And yeah, okay. Now, we don't want the wedge, do we? Actually, uh, what we're going to do is test out the wedge and the explosion shot and see if I could get that working. Ah, okay. So it goes like that. Can I cancel it? Did I waste my shot? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to try to get it across the other side first before I use that. So yeah, let's do that. Facing that way. Okay. It's a little weird to see which way you're facing sometimes. I'm pressing left on the analog. Okay. There we go. I don't want to go that far. Uh, how about a wedge shot? Yeah, that's more like it, I think. Right there. Oh, we got it without using our explosive, explosive uh, thing. Sweet. That's what I like to see. Because we still have it now. Um, detonate TNT within radius. Uh, we have that one still. 
So what we're going to do is probably just wedge shot since we are going in a short distance, but we want to go down there. So we're going to make sure we drop there. Hopefully that does it. There we go. Sweet. Oh, is it going to fall down? No, it's not. But yeah, this is really cool so far already, and I know it's going to get even more insane. Uh, they'll keep throwing crazy hazards and new power-ups and ace cards at us uh, to use at our disposal at right uh, strategic times and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, going to continue on here and try to figure out what's going on. <laughs> uh, let's see how do we get down there. Uh, we're going to use our wedge, maybe? Actually, yeah, I'm going to use that. Going to get a nice hit there, or not. How about driver? No, that was a weak shot. Um, I don't want to do a, a heavy shot. I want to do it a little bit so we can get that bounce down there. I don't know if it's going to do that. No, it won't. It's fine. Let's try the wedge. Okay. Take a practice shot. Ball is destroyed. Okay, so practice shot. We're gonna see how this, where this goes. That's work. That works right there, I think. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. Okay, so let's take a look at our uh, bird's eye camera now. And we gotta get down there. There's another golden idol down that way. Try the iron. Hopefully that's a good shot. Ah, oh, that's not great. Oh man, I don't want to shoot from there. Damn. Well, don't know how we're gonna make this shot. Yeah, that's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> um. Hmm. I wonder. What if we use our detonate thing and then try that? Don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to try it. Uh, I don't know how to use this, actually. Not quite sure. Okay. I must be missing something here. So this is not gonna work from that side. We're gonna have to go there and bring it back to the right again. Which, uh, we only have one shot. I don't know, uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. I don't know what that does in there, but I'm going to try it. Oh, it teleported. Okay, so I don't have any shots left, but the golden idol was right there. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we didn't make it. But, uh, we're gonna have to try that again, I'm sure. I see greatness in you. May golf gui God guide you to ascension. Uh, greatness, even though I failed. <laughs> it's time for you to conquer the greens. Let's stop at eternity and you'll be on your way. Okay. I guess, uh, you didn't have to, since they're, they're trying to still teach you the basics in the beginning. But, uh, cool. I fixed the golf cart I had lying around. It's yours. 
Now you drive to each hole now. No speeding, though. Take a few ace cards as well. Keep them stocked at Eternity, which has many locations in golf currently. This path isn't for the faint of heart. Only a true golf legend can make it out. Take care, and may the golf god bless you. Yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. Even even if we did fail a little bit at the end there. I don't know if there's even a way to get to the flag, or they just automatically make you fail there, but... Uh, whatever. <laughs> We're on our way, and actually, there we go. That is actually the uh, beginning... Uh, that's the tutorial trials done. That past the Golf Purgatory tutorial trials for 77 gamer score. I, I don't mind the weird achievement values. I know some people do, though. Um, interesting. We're, we're kind of driving along here, and there's a map uh, on the right side, which is kind of like in a lot of roguelite games where you decide which path you want to go, and it's probably different every time, as it is a golf-like game, they say. Uh, hole one... Or we can pass by to the shop. Uh, no, we can't yet. Okay. But yeah, let's go to hole one and uh, try out the actual game now. This is the uh, the main game. That was just the tutorial stuff. So we did pass it, uh, after all. Even though it looked like I failed. Maybe there wasn't a way to get to the flag there. But uh, either way, we are in it now. I'm excited. Let's do it. Can you survive? All right, we start with five. Ooh, we have seven cards now. Return your previous shot. Add one to your current card count. We may as well. I don't know why we wouldn't use those right away unless there's some kind of other ability that, like, boosts that later on. Uh, change the direction of the ball mid-flight. Interesting. Uh, yeah, there are going to be all sorts of different power-up um, cards that you can get or buy. Of course, there's in-game shops where you can buy more of these uh, or unlock them from different ways. Of course, all in-game stuff, not real money. Um, but yeah, let's uh, try to get to the right here. We're going to survey the area. Ooh, gold right off the bat. And is that... Uh, let me see if that teleports me up there. Okay. Iron or driver... I feel like the driver is further. I don't know. I'm not I'm not the best at regular golf, so I don't know all the details of like what's better, but uh, we got the gold idol. Um, also don't know yet what the difference is with the driver or the um, iron, because as it stands right now, uh, the wedge I know is used to get out of the bunkers or to make like higher, shorter shots. But uh, I'm not sure about the difference. They probably explained it earlier. I probably have to go back and look. But for now, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's take a look at where we got to go here. So, there we go. Let's just use that again. Bam. Okay, we're going to use a wedge, I think, this time to get up there. shows you there's a survey the area and press right bumper and it actually shows you they didn't say that but I'm pressing things to test it out and it shows you where more of these uh, extra shots are very cool okay we got to go there to the left so let's try our driver how are we gonna see I don't think we can see it No, into the uh, bunker. That's not good. That's definitely not good. Maybe we can get it over there? I don't know. What a shot. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. Ooh, a golden one. 
already. Okay. Uh, I want to. I wish you could see the path. I guess they make it like that so it'd be uh, it'd be too easy if you could just kind of. Yeah, I can't aim that all the way down there. So I'm gonna try to land here. Uh, and not do a far driver shot or iron shot. I'm just gonna do a little bit of one here. That should be good. That'll get us over that and not too far. Perfect, perfect. There we go. All right. Now we gotta get to the side, so I'm gonna use the driver. And we can do that. Okay, we can use the nudge the camera with the right stick like that. Okay. That should work. Nice. Is that? No, oh, I thought those were spikes. Alright. So, we gotta get through there. Oh, we went the wrong way. Good, I think. Perfect. That is exactly where I wanted it. Now we just gotta get that up the up there, up there. That's gonna go that way. That's gonna get some extra shots. Perfect. And right by the goal there. Okay. So all we need is our wedge. Now we aim left. Uh, I like that you can cancel when you're aiming you hit it the wrong way at the beginning, like you can switch that out without having any penalties, that's very nice. There we go. Is it gonna go up? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna try to hit the other one. Yeah, we're in the rough, so probably need the wedge again. Uh, it would help if I went that way. That'll do it. Two more shots there. I wonder if I can reach the uh, thing with the, with the iron or the driver from here. Uh, we could use a card. We could do a practice shot and see where it will land. Uh, we may as well take an extra plus one shot, and then take a practice shot and see where this goes. Uh, so let's do that. Driver. Uh, that's not going to work, is it? Hmm. How about the iron? Okay, the wedge. Don't know if that's gonna work. Um, nope, I don't want it in the water. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Um, what I'm gonna do is hit it to the left a little bit. Just a little bit. That way we can get it to the right again. That's fine. So that's what we're gonna do there. Okay, I shouldn't have wasted the practice shot like that. We didn't really need that, but okay. Now we can get it to the right. All right. I love the music in this game already as well, and uh, just the beautiful art, the pixel art. They put a lot of detail into the backgrounds and everything. Um, really liking the overall uh, game so far here. Like I said, I knew I was going to be excited for this one and enjoying it, and sure enough, it is a pretty awesome game so far, even early on. Uh, and I'm hoping to uh, also stream this uh, in the near future on my Twitch channel as well, twitch.tv slash K-A-R-N-A-G-E. If you aren't already, uh, feel free to follow me there. Okay, so we can see it there. Um, I'm going to try to land on the top one. Oh, we didn't. That's all right. But we're right by the hole. So let's get in there. Just gonna wedge, I think. Wedge it in. Right in here. There we go. 
I like that you don't have to get it in the very middle either. That would be... Okay, it's the flag that was uh, there. But uh, whole score did pretty well, I think. Our remaining... We got some money. Hole one complete. Hold out. Alright, uh, now we're going to make our way to the shop here. Uh, looks like we can drive to the right. And... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we can buy more ace cards. We have some money. Um, two more shots. And well, always buy that. Don't have enough money for anything else. Okay. Card binder. Uh, there's a lot of cards to unlock, as you can see here. Um, we don't have any of those yet. Outfits, also. Um, I don't know if these actually do... Oh, they, this is the uh, Iconic Plumber. We all know who that is supposed to be. Um, there's probably a lot of other references here. Uh, I don't know if these actually will do different things, or if it's just cosmetic or visual, but uh, it looks like it's just kind of cosmetic. Uh, but that's fine. Can we be anyone? Are they all unlocked? Alright, I'm just gonna be uh, any of them there. It doesn't matter for now. And we're gonna progress. Okay, so we're on the next level. I did see a, a branching path as well, like some other roguelike games have, uh, kind of like Slay the Spire, uh, for instance, where you can go a different route, and uh, it does look like it's kind of non-linear, so that's cool. Uh, infinite shots? Wait, how do we have infinite shots? I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Uh, <laughs> driver... Okay. I don't know what we're doing here. What is this? There's, like, holes everywhere. I, I don't know what we got into here, but okay. Uh, we need the driver. Oh, so close. That a little bit lighter. Uh, iron or driver? Let's try like that. Nope, that's the same thing I did. Uh, maybe. Maybe iron? Pretty sure driver is the furthest. Okay, we're gonna try something crazy. I'm gonna bounce it up there and see if it can land back. Interesting. I uh, might be able to get it on the up top one there. So there are all sorts of different ways we can go. Like I said, I'm not sure about how this level works right now since we have uh, unlimited shots. It's kind of weird. see if we can get it over there instead. Yeah, we're gonna try with the iron. That is not good enough, is it? That is probably gonna fall. <laughs> oh, we had one job. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna be patient and hit it a little bit to the left. Uh, we should be able to wedge again and get it to the left. And uh, we'll see what's what's going on in this level anyway, because I don't know how why it's uh, giving us infinite shots in this level. It's kind of strange. That should go in, I think. There we go. Perfect. Okay, well. Was that not... Was that not supposed to... I don't... I don't see what happened there. Not sure. Uh... What? <laughs> I 
I don't know if these are all fake holes or what's going on here, but this is a weird level. Hmm. Well, we're going to go to the right and see what happens here. Very, very strange. I don't know what's up with this level. This is, maybe this is not hole two. Going that way. Bunker, great. <laughs> Whatever. That was not what I wanted to do. That was not ideal. Uh, all right. Okay, maybe we gotta go to the right more? Not quite sure. Okay! Oh! So close to that. That's fine. How'd I know that was gonna happen? That's fine. There we go. Stop! Ah, apparently it had a mind of its own. <laughs> you just gotta do a little bit of a lighter shot, like here. Maybe that'll be good? I hope. Stop, stop, stop. I could also use one of my cards, but I don't want to waste it, really. I've been trying to save the power-up things. So let's see where this thing goes now. There's another hole up there. going on with this level. Uh, this is a very strange level. Hopefully we didn't run into a glitch. Uh, I'm going to back out of the... Wait, what? I don't know what we just did there. Were we practicing? Driving range. Okay, so that was totally uh, um, just practice level type of thing. Well then, that makes sense now. All right, we gotta now go forward. Okay, that was very uh, that was weirding me out. Now we're actually on hole two. Makes a lot more sense now. Like, why were they giving us infinite shots? I thought it was broken. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this game so far. Uh, we're on hole two. Let's get a little preview of the level, uh, and it's gonna get even more insane, I'm sure. Uh, I don't want to show too much of the game, so we're going to probably play a little more of this here, and then I'm going to hopefully be streaming it as well in the near future on my Twitch channel, as I am really enjoying this game, and I'll definitely be coming back to it. Uh, so, we're going to head to the right here, and see if we can make that shot. There we go. Okay. Uh, we have five... Cards. Let's take a look at where our things are. There's an explosive thing, if we can get over there. I might try doing that. Let's see if we can make that shot. Well, it didn't work, but we're going a different way anyway. All good. Okay. So... Go there, we get the gold. Very nice. We gotta get that. Definitely gotta get that. Hopefully, we get it. Oh, snap. Uh, we're in the rough, though. That's not good. Uh, let's see what we can do. Plus two shots. We need that. Oh, 
what we're gonna try... Hmm. Let's see how we're gonna do this here. How about that? And I think it worked. Sweet. Perfect. Yes, that was a beautiful shot. Alright. Now I can see why we don't want to waste all of our extra shot things, because that will basically waste them for any level. So if we use them in this level, we won't have uh, extra shots in the next level. So now it's making more sense to me that they carry over uh, to, you know, all your ace cards and stuff. They carry over and you want to use them wisely when you need them, really. Uh, and not just burn them on every level. Uh, you could, of course, get more from the in-game shop thing, uh, so that's nice, but uh, here we go. We're going to try to make it through the explosive thing. There we go. No, we can't do that one. We need the iron, maybe? Iron is also not good enough. But you know what? We're going to do it anyway. Uh, we are going to... Try to land right there. And, in fact, change the... Direction of it. Uh, with mid... Yeah, change the direction of the ball mid-flight. I'm going to try using that. And see if we can get the explosive thing as well on the way back. So I'm going to try doing that here. We might fail, but I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, except for the fact that I went in the water. I didn't know you had to actually aim it as well. I thought it would only go back once, but we got the path open. Now we just need to be careful about it. Uh, let's see, iron... Oh, that, that actually works. If I get it over there, that would be amazing if I get that shot from here. Hell yeah. I am pleasantly surprised about that. Uh, I do want to hit that thing there, though, but it's not in a good spot. Uh, so we might just go over it to the exit instead. Because those extra shots are not going to carry over um, only the card that we have cards that we have here. So, in that case, we are just going to go to the exit, if we can. Uh, let's take a look. Anything else in the level? No. Okay. Let's get that one. Iron. That should be good. I don't want to get too, too much speed, though. A little bit lighter. No, that's a little too light somewhere in the middle, like so. That is not what I want to do, but it might still work for us. We're in the bunker, but we did get the statue for extra shots, so we're actually okay. All is not lost. That should go in. Hell yeah, there we go. Nice. Bowl survived. Bowl number two out of 18. Now, I'm hoping you can save your progress in this game and not have to do all of them in one session. Uh, I'm pretty sure we should be able to. We got a lot of money there. We got more money since there's more par remaining. So, uh, that's a nice incentive. You get more shots, um, I guess, to go on, or more money to buy, to use stuff uh, to get in the shop, and we can go back if we want to our store and see if there's anything new for sale. Uh, did they not let us again? Okay, I, I guess we have to get to the next shop as it's showing on the right here. Uh, I'm actually looking at the different holes. One, two, three. Okay, so there's actually more. It's just uh, there's a boss fight of some kind up further up. So uh, we don't actually see all 18 holes yet. Uh, but we're making our way to there. And let's see what this thing's uh, all about. How? Uh, did I... I totally bypassed the shop. <laughs> oh, 
Oh well. Uh, but that's fine for now. Uh, I did want to see if it lets us save. Hopefully it will save our progress here. And if we press continue, we are on round one, hole three. Uh, and I wish we can go to the shop. I don't know if it will let us go back. But that was kind of my bad there. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like you can go back if you had pressed the wrong path. I, I saw the shop until it was too late. I went right already. But that's fine. It's good to know that you can uh, actually go to quit title and not abandon. Of course, that will make you lose the whole round. But if you quit the title, it'll save. And you can always continue here uh, next time. As you can see, I'm on round one, hole one, hole three. Uh, and I guess there are multiple rounds, and of course, 18 holes in all. Uh, and then you get through the game. Um, but it is a, a golf-like, as I said, so roguelite elements. Every time, the maps are probably different, and different hazards, different power-ups, different ace cards. Uh, the ace cards are essentially the power-ups. And uh, just a lot of craziness and chaos uh, when it comes to a nice mix of golf, or mini-golf, mixed with action, platforming, roguelite elements, RPG elements, you name it, they got it in this uh, crazy game, but yet really fun game. I'm enjoying it, uh, as I mentioned. But I think we're going to call it there, as uh, this was a first look of the game. I don't want to show off too much of the game in one sitting. Uh, I do want to play more of this in the future, though, coming up on my Twitch channel or future YouTube videos as well. So thanks again, everyone, for watching. Uh, you can find the store link down below, by the way. Uh, if you want to pick up the game, it's out now on Xbox as well as other platforms. Um, it is uh, available for the price of $19.99, I believe. So I'll have all the info uh, with the store link down in the description of the video. Thanks again, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you next time.